disc. You okay? No, I slipped a disc. I slipped a disc. Better go get an MRI. I know. Of course, right? It's an MRI is the only way to know what's going on. Right. You know what? My name is Dr. Aaron LeBauer with LeBauer Physical Therapy. And I'm Dr. Nilsson with Kaizen Physical Therapy. And you don't need an MRI to know what's going on, and your discs don't slip. This is one of the biggest misconceptions. People think that their discs slip, um, and then that leads to further pain because they're unsure about what the real cause is. Right. And often it's because our family, friends, relatives, or even medical providers are, you know, like acknowledging that or saying that that's what's happened. But discs, they don't slip. It's just physiologically, anatomically, it just doesn't happen. Your back may hurt a whole bunch, and that's probably what's going on. And usually, this is diagnosable through movement, by going to a physical therapist and seeing how your back move, your hips move, your neck moves, uh, upper back moves. And that can tell us a lot more than an MRI or somebody telling you that you slipped a disc. Because I've seen patients who've come in, said, uh, MRI shows that I've I slipped a disc, I have a bulging disc, etc. I have five of them, and it's been 20 years. And when we look at them, their back moves great. Their hips aren't moving. Something else is usually the problem. And yes, maybe your back's the problem. But it doesn't mean that an injury, a disc injury, a tear or something like that is the cause of the pain. And even if somebody were to have a herniated disc would be the, the correct term, not a slip disc. A herniated disc, they do heal over time as well. And herniated discs don't even always cause pain. Because if we took 100 people off the street right now, gave them all an MRI, none of them had pain or problems with sitting, standing, walking, running, etc. 64% of them would have some kind of finding on the MRI that's either a herniated disc, a um, degenerative disc disease, arthritis, spondylitis, or some other crazy term that sounds really scary. But yet they have no pain. That's the key point right there is that they have no pain. So this is just a normal way of living. We like to call it, or like to, to think of it as wrinkles on the inside. So just because you can't see the inside, it sounds scary when you go and get an x-ray or an MRI and they find these, they find these things. But if you could see on the inside, it'd just be look like wrinkles, how you see on your skin as you age. Right. So the number one thing you should do if you feel like you've slipped a disc or thrown out your back or your back hurts is keep moving. Find some kind of movement that feels okay, that doesn't make it worse with every step. That might be some gentle motions, a little bit of yoga, a little bit of walking, and if it persists, the next best thing to do is contact a physical therapist such as one of us because we can tell you exactly what's wrong and how to fix it. And if you're interested in that, just go ahead and click the link right around this video. You can set up a free appointment with myself or Dr. LeBauer and come down and, like he said, see exactly what's going on and how we can help. Thanks, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks. Thanks.